Today we're going to talk about that topic of sex steroids. You know, when you <laughs> say that word sex, people's mind kind of starts uh, rolling or spinning. Well, well, yeah, because you said sex. I'm glad, I'm glad you put the word steroids in close con connection with that. Well, those are actually something that the body <laughs> makes. Those are naturally occurring hormones. There's not yep. just male and female sex steroids. There's also the adrenal hormones that are involved in that categorization of sex steroids as well. So what's yeah. the difference between male and female sex steroids? Well, there's a lot of difference between a male and female, but <laughs> so, so both sexes have the same amount of, and the same type of hormones. Uh, so, for example, yes, we do. typically hear like DHEA, which is an adrenal hormone. We, we hear about progesterone and estradiol, which is typically considered female hormones, and we hear about testosterone, typically a male. But both sexes have all. It's just interesting how males have more testosterone and less estradiol. Females have less testosterone, more estradiol. But interestingly enough, when we get those things in the optimal ranges, they become protective against heart, bone, and brain disease. Yeah, interestingly, when they become out of balance, there's this thing called cortisol steel. Mm -hmm. So in order to keep male and female sex steroids balanced, we have to be able to manage stress. So stress yep. can be an underlying uh, way that the sex steroids get out of balance quickly. Well, they can. And so people need to know that hormones are constructed by a base called cholesterol. You know, we hear about cholesterol being bad. No, it's not. Yeah, that's the precursor of all the sex Yeah, steroids. we have to have it, right? So if you have to have cholesterol, we don't need to just willy-nilly try to lower it with statin drugs because that will shut off your ability to produce these sex steroid hormones. But what you're talking about, this cortisol steel, is cortisol is a hormone also that's constructed by cholesterol. So when you have a lot of stress, really, it's not literally stealing. It's like... All of the cholesterol is being manufactured and pushed towards the construction of cortisol and away from the sex steroid hormones. Think about it like this. If, if you and I are going down the pathway in the woods, right, and all of a sudden we look behind us and there's a big old bear that pops out in the clearing and starts chasing us, right, our cortisol is going to come up. By design. Right. That's supposed to be, right? That's, it's one of the major we're stress gonna, hormones. We're going to start running or figuring out a plan Clean. to survive. Getting away from that Yeah. It's stressor. like that's true to the fight or flight sort fight, of response. Flight or flee response. When we do that, we are not supposed to stop on the side of the trail and have sex. Because that would be something that the bear would obviously capitalize on and kill us, right? So the body naturally will push towards the ability of us to survive. So it pushes towards our survival and that's where it goes and it's supposed to and away from the sex toward them. So people today that are um, out of balance, as you say, because of the stress response, really that response is supposed to drive those hormones low. So what's the remedy? To lower the stress response to bring about more balance. Let's leave part of it. Well, and pe what people don't realize is that lack of sleep is a stressor. Yeah. Overeating is a stressor. Under eating is a stressor. Not only do we have to have good cholesterol, but we have to have good nutrients that drive cellular processes that actually make these sex steroids. Yeah, it's fascinating. You know, people forget that uh, sort of the, the hormone, it's not a sex steroid hormone, melatonin. It's sort of as the antagonist of, of cortisol. So when we're sleeping, we should be sleeping with the production of melatonin. But when we get too stressed and don't sleep well, well, cortisol comes up at the time that melatonin is supposed to come up. So what does that do to us over time? It continues to cause the sex steroid hormones to plummet. And by the way, it'll cause weight to come up too. So lack of stress, stressors, mm -hmm. I mean, even having a baby can be a stressor on the production of sex steroids. So that can be something that has to be balanced postpartum. Yeah, and this is interesting. A lot of people don't think like this, but this is common sense. When the, the placenta, you know, in the second and mm -hmm. third trimester is producing the progesterone. Massive amounts of yeah. it. And so when the baby is delivered, there goes the placenta too. So the placenta is producing the progesterone and it comes out then what happens to your progesterone production at post-birth? Down. Postpartum depression. Now, is that a depression that should be treated with drugs? Not I don't likely. think so. How about treating it just with bioidentical hormones? That would be smart. And so a lot of ladies would be able to save a lot of problems during that window of time, knowing that there could be, normally speaking, a little bit of depression. But it's not really depression. It's a lack of 
the presence of progesterone, which actually is sort of this um, anti-anxiety sort of hormone or calming. There is a neurotransmitter. I know this gets a little weird and stuff, but the neurotransmitter called GABA, gamma yeah, aminobutyric acid. it's a very neurotransmitter. It is. So progesterone stimulates the production of that, which makes people calm down. Yeah, so progesterone and GABA are both chill pills. They are. We've got some... <laughs> pharmaceutical grade GABA in the clinic that's chewable and we call that our chill pill. So if you're wondering how we chill out, you know, we'll sometimes chew on a GABA during the day. It's kind of like mother nature's little natural Xanax, if you will. Does it, it require a prescription? You can actually get it over the counter. Yeah. You might talk to your doctor or prescriber, your clinician before just partaking in that, that. Yeah, next time you're stressed out, choose some GABA. <laughs> you know, but when we talk about these sex steroid hormones, you know, it's not a it, it, it's not a bad thing to have this discussion going on because so many people get out of balance. And really, as you get into the, the perimenopausal time or the andropausal time, you start getting less production of one or two of these things. And that creates sort of this imbalance that causes problems and symptoms such as, you know, hot flashes, um, night sweats, uh, weight gain, you know, lack of libido, lack of motivation, et cetera, et cetera. I've also found one of the things clinically that I see all the time that will crush the hormonal system is weight gain. You know, yeah. Weight gain will drive the estrogen production, not only in females, but in males. And women will end up with heavy cycles and abnormalities with their periods. And mm -hmm. men, they just get that little spread around their middle and their libido goes down and it crushes their testosterone production. And you know what else crushes their testosterone production? When they get on the scale and the scale goes up, they're, they're stressed out of their <laughs> minds, right? So at that point in time, you know, stressor. yeah, and it creates a lot of inflammation on the body, which also creates stress. So we can see how this is a kind of a, a feed forward in a negative basis cycle that goes nowhere. So people need to really track these hormones with great care, don't they? They do. Uh, if you test young, you know where you are mm -hmm. so that as you age, you can follow it and support, supplement, and supplant the system where necessary. Now, a lot of talk we've done, I mean, obviously you'd think that there's a lot of complexities here and there is. Hormones and the ability to balance those takes a trained, skilled professional who knows a lot about them, as you can see. It's not something as following a formula. It's also listening to the person's Yeah, people are symptoms. unique. Yeah, That's so, right. you know, you, you actually balance the hormones to a place where they relieve the symptoms and provide your ultimate protection. So, hey, if this sounded interesting to you and you're like, hey, I want to know about that, you need to reach out to us because we would be uh, honored to help you out with your hormones. And to test and not guess. I could use your assistance. Okay. Um, Jesus. Huh? I, my name is Jesus. <laughs> sure. Jesus. Jesus is here today. You, uh, you looking for a job? Yes, sir. You and Mark have 45 days before the bank forecloses. Not to worry. They do not call me by God buyer for nothing. The collection plate starts to be passed around. Mark reaches into the basket and shouts, you and your family are the winner from the first church of the Lotto. Kind of think of it like a high stakes bingo night ever Sunday. This video of the diaper is going viral right before I. This is a miracle. What, what is? is Friends of Faith has over 300,000 followers. Oh my dad! That's more followers than Moses had. Jesus! Take the wheel! Just say it. No, Stop take it. the wheel! I got it. I got it, buddy. And when you navigate through these, these economies with people, here's, here's what happens. We want to hold their hand through it, let them know when it's time to buy, sell, reallocate, get out of Dodge. Because a lot of times when you're struck with fear, fear does two things. Number one, it can paralyze and, and people just put their head in the sand and say, I'm just going to forget about it and hopefully it gets better. Or it causes you to make a wrong decision. And this is why we are here is to help people navigate through the political quagmire nonsense that's going on the economic malaise and the absolute collapse that we're seeing. And when our freedoms are eroding, 
our political freedoms, our economic freedoms, our personal freedoms, our religious freedoms, our health freedoms. They're all tied together, but you know what doesn't need to erode with that? Our finances. Kirk Elliott, PhD.com forward slash Sherwood. Exploring biohacking, bioharmonizing, biosynergizing, stacking, resilience, or anti-fragility. Start here. No gimmicks, just proven results. 